Welcome to the Bill Hansey and Gypsy Williams show, filmed right here in beautiful downtown Coconut Grove at Villa Woodbine. Where we help you all turn your wedding dreams of sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows into the most wonderful experience that will generate rave reviews from all of your guests, your family, and your friends. Yes, sir. And I'll tell you what, when it comes to weddings, you want to capture the memories of every moment that occurred during your wedding day. The best way of doing this is through the art of photography. And through the art of photography, what do you have? You have beautiful wedding albums. And we have a special guest today, Ms. Tessa Maxine with Tessa Maxine Photography, who's gonna tell us all about photography, wedding photography, and why you should have a wedding album. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Tessa. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. It's an absolute joy to be here. Welcome, Tessa. Thanks, as we say, thanks for dropping by, okay? <laughs> so. You know me, I asked you a whole bunch of questions before we got started, like, are you married? Stuff like that. <laughs> you know, I dug in, where do you live? All of that. But tell us how you got started in the photography business. So I started out as a painter, and I was uh, doing these large-scale paintings, and I bought a camera to document my paintings, and then I just fell absolutely in love with photography. I did photographic screen printing for a little while, and then I just really switched over to photography. I did travel photography, I've circled the globe with my camera in hand, mm. and I loved it. But when I found wedding photography, I really felt, felt like I had found my home. Mm -hmm. It has this wonderful quality of being something that's intimate and personal and becomes an heirloom for people. Something that you're going to enjoy today, but over the years is going to grow in its importance and something that your grandchildren are going to be able to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Well, the art of photography is not just that moment. And now, I know nowadays everybody's got the little flash and goes, oh, that's all I want is the flash. Yeah. But let me tell you, on a personal level, when it comes to the albums, to me, it's a keepsake. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking this morning of, like, as a little girl, my twin sister and I, we would go through my mama's yep. old, old album, mm -hmm. you know, the mm -hmm. wedding album. My dad, his parents, apparently we, we never had one or someone else in the family had it, but I had some of one of his aunt and uncle. So those were from like the 1920s and looking at the styles. And growing up, I mean, okay, yes, as an age group, I'm not the same age group as you and <laughs> some of the others that are getting married right now, but it's just a special keepsake and all. So tell me about the different styles. It's not your typical album nowadays, like back in the day where it was you, you had the little squares and they stuck to the little paper and then they had the little plastic and all. Now it's an actual beautiful coffee. It coffee really table is. coffee. And that's really for the weddings when I'm shooting a wedding, we always are thinking about what are we going to be doing with these images afterwards. If you have those images and they are just on your computer, mm -hmm. They're probably going to stay on your computer. This isn't going to be something that your friends and loved ones are seeing when they come over. You know, it's not going to be something that you're living with. If you have an album, it's something that's going to be out in your home. They usually come with beautiful boxes, so it's something you can keep safe but have close by. And something that when people come over, they're going to pick it up. They're going to look through it. You're going to look through it. It's a completely different way to live with your images. And there are tons of things that you can do now, which is wonderful. We can personalize things, you know, completely by choosing the covers. You can add your names to them. You can choose your papers. I even have an album line that I work with that we can do custom inserts here so that you can choose, say, the same pattern that you had on your invitation or on your envelope liner. Everything can be completely customized to really be a continuation of your wedding day. Tell me a little bit about these albums that you brought to us today. And I want to tell you all, through the pandemic, this is a great way, instead of being glued to your TV set mm -hmm. and watching all those reruns of whatever and all those documentaries and who killed who, those datelines and stuff, although I do watch those. Um, <laughs> It's when a great one. The ID channel? No, the, the Dateline, and oh, oh my God, yeah, my okay. husband hates it, but any 48 hours, just saying. <laughs> um, but this is a great way of just going back and learning more about your family and, mm -hmm. and reminiscing and, and what have you. So tell us a little about these, they're different size books, so mm -hmm. tell us all about that. So this as well. is an 8 by 12 album okay. with a black heirloom leather cover. And then we have here, this is a 12 by 12 album with a white heirloom cover. And all of these leather colors can be um, customized. You can also do linen, you can do velvet. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of different options here, which is really nice. Can you emboss uh, mm -hmm. with a couple's names, yes. that, like in gold, foil on the cover? You can emboss in either cover. the blind embossing. You mm -hmm. can also do the gold, copper, silver. Mm -hmm. oh. It really is. You can do cameos on the front. Everything can be completely customized, which is really wonderful because it really lets you just add that special touch to how you remember your wedding day. Yeah. 
I mean, our life has slowed down a little bit over the last few months, but it's still going pretty fast for a lot of people. And in our day-to-day -day life, it's very easy to kind of, you know, keep going and going and going and forget about those special moments in life. Mm -hmm. And this is a way for you to connect with your memories. It's a way for you to really be able to relive that day. So tell us a little bit, show us a little bit of, of these So albums. we always start out with the details. And this is so that we do the, all of this before the bride is ready to be photographed. So that way when she's there, we're there for all those moments, both candid and getting dressed and everything. But really all those details that the bride has been collecting for months. We want to make sure that we're highlighting those, the flowers, the, the belts, the invitation. The invitation is the start of the wedding day story. So we usually start with those things and just Because we those. know mm -hmm. those things after the wedding, the flowers are dead, the oh, invitation yeah. is put away. Everything's so done. now we can just keep that in the Yeah, in the and this is the way to really hold on to those memories. Oh, these perfume. are stunning. Mm -hmm. Absolutely stunning. The perfume, the perfume that you wore. I was going to say. Oh this was actually wow. this was a gift from her her now husband. So oh. it's really you know capturing all of those things. Oh, the wedding dress yes. always. <laughs> <laughs> the rings, her vows. You know, oh. you know. Sometimes people even their vows like you you put them somewhere at some point. You may lose them, mm. but having a photograph of them it's a way to really hold on to them. Mm. And then we have the getting ready I photographs. Yes. And that's important. I feel the getting oh, yeah. ready and putting mm. that in an album. Is, I'm always so well. happy. You know, a lot of times my couples will go with the full day coverage, and that means that we can really have everything for them from you know, the getting ready through the exit, which is wonderful, because it really it's a, your wedding day starts starts well before your ceremony and it goes well beyond your ceremony. So we can capture all of those things. It goes by so quickly. It's wonderful for them to be able to have those memories. You know, getting dressed. And These then, are her two sisters. Oh, helping with her veil mm -hmm. and all. That is precious. I have a funny story about getting dressed. Yes, you do. I used to live here, okay? Oh, wow. And the bride's room is right above this particular room in the dining room at Villa Woodbine. And so a photographer that we worked with ages and ages ago, she was doing one of those lingerie shots. Yeah. And she was, the bride was up in the corner up there, <laughs> out, kind of out of sight. Yeah. And I walked out of the office upstairs <laughs> and I saw Sherry, Sherry Cowan was her name, with a camera. And I said, hey, Sherry, how you doing? And I took a couple steps, and there was the bride with hardly anything on. Oh, my goodness. I was embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> I bet she was, too. Yeah. Yeah, sure but was. it's fun, especially, you know, those are the moments that you like to capture because, you know, it's, I don't know, it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, it's nice to be able to have all of that yeah. memories. And this, she's really, the bride was really, really close with her dad. So oh. we did a first look with her dad, which is the moment oh. that I always love to be able to have that time for. Because, you know, you really, like, it's, those, it's, it's the moments with your friends, but it's also the moments with your dad, with your grandparents, things like that. And that's something I always like to work with my couples with, to really talk to them and find out who are you close with? Who do you want to connect with on your wedding day? And then we build their timeline off of that and make sure that we're there to capture those moments with our cameras and to be able to build you know, everything so that they have beautiful pictures but also mm -hmm. beautiful memories of their mm -hmm. wedding day. That's a beautiful one. Is that the bride hugging her mom? Yeah, oh. that was, yeah, and she was putting on, she gave them like, a, each of them had, a, he had a boutonniere, she had a corsage, so she gave them each of those at that point and put them on. Mm -hmm. Precious, you know. absolutely precious. Yeah, and these are her sisters and her bridesmaids. Mm -hmm. So it's really, you know, it's building in those moments with the people that you love the most. And every time, that's just it. I mean, some couples will like take it out every anniversary and just kind of relive yeah. that moment. And when they start having children, they'll say, look what mommy and daddy. Well, and I always say like, you know, what do you want to be doing on your anniversary five years mm -hmm. from now? Do you want to be looking at a computer screen? And, right. you know, or do you want to be sitting in bed when your kids are brought you pancakes and looking through your album with them? And maybe it's going to have some fingerprints at some point or it's going to like age with your, your family. But that's part of the beauty of a wedding album. You know what I love is when couples come back here 10, 15, 20 years after they were wed mm -hmm. here at Bill Woodbine and they'll come back and bring the kids. Oh, oh. And pictures. <laughs> And it's, that that's exactly day. what I love about wedding photography because it's like I'm, I'm capturing the things that is going to be their children's memory. Um, my aunt, we used to live in England when I was young, mm -hmm. and uh, my aunt got married in the States and we weren't able to attend, but I saw her wedding pictures. I saw them at my mom's house. I saw them at my grandparents' house. I saw them at my aunt's house. Mm -hmm. And now my grandfather, he's passed away years ago. But when I think about him, I think about him in this photograph. It was a family mm -hmm. photograph. 
just my aunt, my grandmother, and you know her husband. And I think about him because he was smiling in that photograph. And he was a very, very serious man. He didn't smile a lot. But seeing him in that picture, it stuck in my head because I saw it so much and because he smiled. Right. And it was and, another side to him that you did run. Yeah. Right? And that's how I remember him. So when I'm photographing things for a wedding day, I'm very much thinking about <clears throat> excuse me, how the wedding is, you know, how is it going to be remembered? How is this a piece of their family story? Basically, it's capturing and preserving those moments, those yeah. beautiful wedding moments. And it's the beginning of their story as a family together. And this couple now has two beautiful children. Aww. And I know that, you know, this is a copy of the album that they had, and I know that they look through this together, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. This is her father and her. They had a nice moment together, and they wanted to have some alone time, but we captured that, you know, from further away. Really, and right, and give them their privacy, yes. Yeah. That's what's important. People don't realize <laughs> that having a photographer, because some people are like, I don't want that camera in front of my face all yeah. the time. And that's mainly from the grooms. We hear mm -hmm. that a lot. Yeah. But when you have a real, true professional, yeah. Okay, you know how you have the lenses and what have yeah. you, and able to capture those moments from afar, and mm -hmm. they still have their moment, their special moment. And that was one thing when I first started out with wedding photography. Before I shot my first wedding on my own, I shot close to forty weddings as a second photographer, and I was really surprised at how much is sometimes staged. Mm -hmm. And coming from someone who was doing a lot of travel photography, street right, photography no all over the world, there was no staging. So that's definitely never been my approach. I definitely help clients yeah. to look their best, give them some tips, get them in the best light. But then I like, I like to have, have things happen naturally. As so they happen. Is, yeah. As they happen. So, they so all this is really, really, really wonderful. But now we have to get down to the hard facts, the hard costs, the prices, because all of this looks beautiful. And so help, help our viewers out with regards to how much should they budget as a percentage of their total budget for photography? It really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a la carte coverage and you want to add an album later, that's I have couples that do that. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for full day coverage and you'd like to have your album included so you have one overall kind of like I know what I'm doing at the mm -hmm. beginning, that's also a possibility. I think it's good to say that you should start around 3000 for your wedding photography. Okay. Um, anywhere from three to probably six to seven thousand dollars is a real mm -hmm. is a realistic kind of number depending mm -hmm. on what it is that you're looking for. Now if you're looking for, I know a lot of people are doing elopements right now, they're doing smaller yes. weddings. That's not going to be probably that budget number right. because it's a lot less coverage. Right. And you can also then add things in later. I have couples who are doing, you know, a couple hours of coverage and then they're having a portrait session later or they're doing an album later or they're doing a larger wedding later. So that's a whole different kind of, you know, yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking for a photographer who is going to have the equipment that's going to be able to capture a day beautifully, that has the experience, that's going to be able to help you not only with just showing up and taking pictures, but guiding you with your timeline, helping you to have the best possible experience. I would say that three to six thousand okay. dollars is a reasonable. That answers amount. that. Yes. <laughs> so couples, get your checkbooks out. Yeah, get your checkbook and the, the good old uh, Amex cards. Right. Yeah. Well, lastly, um, and as we're talking about pricing and all, an advice that you have for all couples before hiring a photographer, like yeah. how. What advice do you have for them in the sense of like, boy, they'll know there's this gut feeling that this is the right person or this is not the right person? I would say it's really, really important to have a conversation with them. You're going to look at their website. In all honesty, it's pretty easy to pull. If you are shooting 2,000 photographs on a wedding day, it's pretty easy to pull one or two photographs that are going to look amazing. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you have sit down, you have a conversation with them in today's times. Maybe we're going to do that via Zoom or FaceTime. Yes. Mm -hmm. And make sure that you see complete weddings. It doesn't necessarily have to be at the venue that you're at, but it needs to be at a venue that has similar lighting conditions. So if you're getting married on the beach, it could be a wedding that took place in a park or an outdoor venue. If you're getting married in a really dark bar ballroom, it doesn't necessarily have to be the exact same place, but make sure that the lighting conditions are the same. Oh, that's mm -hmm. good advice. I never, I never, never thought of that. Yeah, because never, that's, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. 
and ask them, you know, make sure that you have things like print rights included because sometimes you don't realize that you're not going to have those print rights included. Make sure, mm -hmm. like, so, you know, what are you comfortable with flash? Do you understand how to use it? Like, you know, what is your lighting setup? Do you work with a second photographer? Are you going to be the photographer that shows up on my wedding day? Right. Or are you going to be sending someone else? These are all really important questions mm -hmm. to ask because every photographer has a different business model. And when you're just starting out, you know, and you're planning your wedding, you may not know the ins and out of the wedding photography business because why would you? Right. So asking these questions up front can really give you a good idea of what your experience is going to be and what to expect. Mm. Wow, that you are absolutely great on camera. I know you were a little you were a little nervous beforehand. <laughs> But I've, I've got to tell you, I think that most couples, if they had a chance to talk to you, they would want to Aww. hire you. So congratu <laughs> congratulations. And so we want to thank you, Tessa. Thank you so much for having Tessa me. Tessa Maxine, for, as we say, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Yeah. It was a joy to see you guys. I missed and, you. <laughs> and for all you loyal viewers out there, all of you, you out there in Wedland, uh, please, please, please uh, send us in your questions, your comments, your concerns. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we have lots and lots and lots to offer. So, And for more information on Tessa, we'll have it all up on the screen so that you can reach out to her. And if you do, I think she will treat you great. You will have a picture-perfect wedding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all and y'all for coming, or not coming, or us coming to you, or whichever yeah. way it was. Mm -hmm. Anyways, for tuning in, we appreciate it. Tune in again next week for another show. Bye. Thank you.